talk of the town with the restless guy. Don't you bother to fool him around. Keeps the vomit on the run, boy. Keeps the vomit on the run. Good morning, buckaroos, and welcome back to another episode of History Bits, here with Mr. Westman. This week's topic takes a shift in tone, as this story is not about great achievements through selfless acts of humanity. It's not about rising above the challenges life throws at you, emerging a better and obviously more successful person on the other side. This story is about orphans, bank robbers, gunfights, and one friend killing another friend in the name of the law. Billy the Kid was born Henry McCarty in 1859 in the Irish slums of New York City. His father died early, and he moved with his mother and brother to Wichita, Kansas, then Colorado, and eventually New Mexico by the early 1870s. Henry thrived in the open spaces and quickly became fluent in Spanish. Tragedy struck again in 1874 when his mother died of tuberculosis, leaving him orphaned at the age of 15. He bounced around a few foster homes, fell in with a rough crowd, and took on the alias of William Bonney and became Billy the Kid. Robert M. Utley, in his book Billy the Kid, A Short and Violent Life, gave Billy's description as such, he had clear blue eyes with a roguish snap about them, light hair and complexion, and he is, all in all, a quite handsome looking fellow, the only imperfection being two prominent front teeth. Pat Garrett was born in 1850 in Alabama and was raised on a Louisiana plantation. His mother and father died when he was a teenager, and after the Civil War ravaged the South, the debt owed on his family farm was more than the land was worth, so he fled west to get a fresh start. Pat worked as a buffalo hunter, rancher, bartender, and eventually sheriff and Texas Ranger, all jobs that make him a true man of the storied Old West. It was when Pat Garrett was tending bar that Billy and he met, becoming fast friends and playing cards together regularly. It is even said that Pat, who was nearly six and a half feet tall, was called Big Casino, and the much shorter Billy, who stood 140 pounds and about 5'8", was called Little Casino. The men had a similar childhood path through the deaths of their parents and likely bonded over shared trials and tribulations of growing up on their own some. Their friendship didn't last, however, as Garrett was elected sheriff in Lincoln County, New Mexico. In 1880, Billy was still up to his old ways of stealing and pillaging the American Southwest from the Rio Grande to the Pecos River. So eventually, Garrett had to turn his priority to capturing his old friend. In 1881, Garrett did catch Billy outside Stinking Spring, New Mexico. But Billy escaped the Lincoln Jail in an epic gun battle worth researching for yourself. Deflated but not defeated, Garrett persisted and Billy fled to Fort Sumner to hole up and gather supplies before heading to Mexico. Despite being a notorious murderer and thief, many people liked Billy. Again, Utley is quoted, He has agreeable and winning ways. He was especially admired by the Hispanic communities, where he was seen as a heroic outlaw a la Robin Hood. Oh, he's so handsome, just like his reward posters. He hoped this reputation would help him escape the fetters of justice his one-time friend was bringing to him. On July 14th of 1881, the scene was set for another historic moment at Fort Sumner. In the early evening, Billy sat under a peach tree chatting with his friends. Things were calm and peaceful, but that wouldn't last. Garrett and his men were closing in. Around midnight, Billy was awoken, and as he walked through the living quarters, he heard a sound. Quien es? he called out. Two shots fired from Garrett's peacemaker, and such was the figurative end of their friendship and the literal end of Billy the Kid. He was only 22 years old. Man, what a story. Friendship can be a difficult trail to blaze. Finding a good friend isn't always easy, and what do we do when that friendship grows apart? You may be at the stage of your life when you're making your first round of friends. Maybe you're on your third or fourth set. Friends will come and go throughout your life, but in the end, you're the best friend that you'll ever have. Again, thanks as always. I appreciate your time. So remember to be happy, stay healthy, and let's make some history. Cheers. If you enjoyed that video, smash the like button. If you want more content like this, make sure you subscribe and check out more videos below.